Hi, this is Jeremy Barnes with uh, Revolution Machine Tools. This is our uh, nesting software for <coughs> our laser machines. And you can also draw on it. So I'm going to take you into part, and I'm going to show you how to draw a little part. Just freehand it type thing. Um, these are our notches. You can do chamfers, fillets, uh, corner notches. Um, bend reliefs, just some fun little tricks you can do to make the drawing a lot easier. You snap that into place, just pops it in there. Um, and pop that in there. Grab offset, you offset some lines real quick so I can drop a hole right there. We'll make it a uh, quarter inch hole. Um, offset these lines real quick. And drop some more holes in it. Go make that a four. Put it right above it. Two millimeter. Another hole. Go through. Erase my lines. Um, let's extend this, uh, oh, let's put a little fill down here at the bottom, a little three millimeter radius. Uh, I'm going to extend this out over here. Trim that up. Use a uh, partial delete, delete that. Then uh, put a little fill it on that. I'm going to do uh, a font. Go in, pick my font that I want. Um, type in there what I want it to say. We'll just uh, put marking in there because that's what I'm going to do so we can mark it. So, this we got to release it, and there's a tolerance which uh, gives it your curvature and stuff like that. Change the pen color to pen 5, which is uh, so it tells it it's going to mark that or etch it. So now it's released in the drawing. Now I'm going to go ahead and just save this as a test part or something like that. Um, go and select the material I want it to be. Select aluminum, six millimeters, save. Then we're gonna uh, take you over to the nesting. Pops right in. Um, go and pick a sheet. Pick ma which material you want, the thickness. You can uh, choose the sheet size you want. And this is manually. Grab your part. It's already right there, pops it right up for you, bring it in. Um, just going to hit fill sheet, see where that gets me. It's kind of cool little feature that we'll just nest the whole sheet with that one part. Uh, zoom in, you can tell that there's quite a bit of space between those. So I'm going to go to clearances, change my part gap, and my sheet border and stuff like that to 3mm, hit OK. And go in and hit fill sheet again. If you notice, I mean, you got a lot more off that sheet right there just by doing that. The clearances between the parts are a lot smaller, too. Uh, this is kind of a small part, so I'm just going to modify it real quick and make it bigger. So just go right back into part, open it, it'll take you to that part that you were working on or nested with. I'm just going to make it five times bigger. Uh, 
measure it real quick 150 millimeters by 309 millimeters which is about 6 by 12 inches that's a good size part so I'm going to go and save it come back to nest um, open it up fill sheet again I'm going to give it an 8 second which it makes it think longer so it can nest better um, there's orient I mean you can like if it's brush stainless or something like that and you always need to make sure it's going the right direction you can uh, change the orient of it um, I'm not too happy with that nest so I'm going to go in and just manually nest it copy them nest it um, can't get nothing up there so I'm going to switch it around see if I can nest it a little bit better this way which looks like it's working out a little bit better um, erase those parts come back over copy them finish nesting the sheet uh, I can't fit any right there so I can either just copy those or I'll just hurry and manually do them real quick one at a time Um, that's about everything I'm going to get on that. So I'm just going to take it and move it to the corner of the machine I want it to start in. So I'm done nesting. We just go over to profiling now. Profiling is uh, where you're going to uh, put what tool you want on each hole, outer hole, your marking, and stuff like that. You got your cut one, cut two, cut three, and marking. This is going to where you can uh, play with your lead ins and stuff like that if you want to tab the part automatically. Once you're done there, you go over to automatic order. This is going to, uh, depending on the style you do, it's going to order it how you want it to do automatically. When you see everything turn pink, that means everything's going to get cut. Now, this is our simulator, and it's just going to show you exactly how it's going to cut. So you can see that it's uh, doing the marking first and then going through and cutting the part out. And it's uh, going from front to back. This is compile. This is where uh, it turns it into the CNC code so that the laser can read it. So now it's done compiling, I can uh, click OK. Um, there's a little verification process, you don't have to go to it, but if you want to verify it to make sure, um, it's kind of like the other simulator, but this will give you run times. It goes step by step through the CNC code, so it's doing exactly what it's going to do on the laser. Um, I can hit escape and it will just stop. And then the next step is you go over to blocks, go in and save those blocks, and that goes right to the laser. And then that's where you'd uh, just go downstairs and begin cutting your parts. This little uh, cool feature is something that you can take and print out and give to your uh, laser operator. It's a cool little function. Tells your run times and size sheet and stuff like that how many parts but there you go drawn apart nested apart um, appreciate you guys' time
thank you very much